desempeño. Así que vamos a hablar con Gian Cadiz, el Product Manager del Alfa Romeo 4C. Well, Gian, here at the New York Auto Show with the official return of Alfa Romeo to the United States, huh? Yeah, we're excited to be here at the New York Auto Show. It's been 19 years since the, late, the last Alfa Romeo was sold here in the United States and 22 years since Alfa Romeo brand was at a major auto show. So to be back here in the United States, come to the Big Apple, you know, it's huge news and to bring the Alfa Romeo 4C to spearhead the brand's reintroduction to, New, uh, to the United States and here in New York is uh, very exciting for us and uh, it's been very exciting for the crowd here at the show. Yeah, absolutely. So the car that the Alfa Romeo is coming back is the 4C. Can you talk a little bit about it, please? Yeah, the Alfa Romeo... special edition, by the way, Oh, right? yeah, yeah. We are actually in the Alfa Romeo 4C launch edition here. You know, not only does it have, uh, you know, a great, a very exotic uh, mid-engine Italian design that re harks back to the 1967 Alfa Romeo Stradale, the 33 Stradale, um, you know, which was actually designed for racing. You know, this car exactly takes that essence. It's designed for track day use. Um, it's got an architecture that's you know, designed for competition, you know, capability. And what I mean by that is we looked at Formula One and other supercars, and we took technology from Formula One and other supercars, including a carbon fiber monocoque, all aluminum front and rear uh, chassis structures, a composite body, all to reduce the weight down and maximize this four-cylinder direct injection turbocharged engine that uh, sits behind the front, the front passengers and uh, can ex essentially accelerate this car to zero to 60 in the mid-fours. What's, what's the horsepower in this car? 237 horsepower. But being so light, it's But like being much so more. Light, you know, we're able to get uh, mid-four seconds zero to 60 and over 160 miles an hour. Okay, and all these, uh, all these great technologies do that. The Alfa Romeo is part of the Fiat Group, which is part of the Ferrari. That's right. So, <laughs> so you know, it's, it's fantastic. You know, we did leverage uh, our friends at Maserati, obviously, as Ferrari as well. Uh, Maserati does produce the car on Alfa's behalf in Modena, Italy. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, labor-intensive, lots of artisan and craftsmanship uh, into the Alfa Romeo 4C. You know, it is a very, uh, uh, you know, handheld process to build this car and uh, you know our artisans at Maserati do a fantastic job and you know that's what this customer the Alfa Romeo customer is looking for you know it has a rich the brand has a rich history of a lot of uh, spectacular uh, vintage race cars and other uh, special design series cars uh, from the heyday you know again it's yeah. all about the craftsmanship special materials and uh you know, the beautiful Italian design. Yeah, no doubt one of the greatest names in automotive history. So, one question, big question, how is going to be sold in the States? Because I don't I don't think they're like dealership for Alfa Romeo that's right, right. It's, it's It's been since 1995 that there's, a, you know, been a Alfa Romeo dealership here in the United States. The good news is, you know, leveraging the new Fiat Chrysler Automobile Corporation, which includes, obviously, the Fiat dealers, as well as Maserati dealers. So we're going to, you know, Alfa Romeo really plays between these two brands, Fiat and Maserati. It fits between. Alfa Romeo will be available starting at the end of June and select Maserati and Fiat dealers here in the United States. That's a great benefit of, of the Chrysler Group uh, comeback. I mean, we're going back five, six, seven years when things weren't that good. And like, what a difference, huh? I mean bringing new cars almost every month in seems, you know, and like bringing new brands. Yeah, you know, we're lucky. We know where we came from. Uh, we're very fortunate uh, to be here today, uh, you know, and, and it's definitely uh, here with something uh, nearly semi-exotic, you know, a car that's offering levels of technology and uh, construction that you would see in three, four hundred thousand dollar exotic cars for under six figures. That was, that was my, my next question. This car, for the great technology that it has and like the great looks, the great name, it's not very expensive considering what, what it offers. No, absolutely not. In fact, it's, it's a new threshold. It's something the, the customer, customers, new car customers in the United States have never seen. To offer a carbon fiber monocoque, mid-engine, you know, exotic styling, Italian design, no less, um, for around $70,000 to start with. Uh, for their launch edition, all of these launch editions are serialized. Um, you know, we expect those to go rapidly. 500 only of them. Only 500. And, you know, our Alfa Romeo fans have been waiting decades, decades for, you know, something like this. So we know uh, I, I will, they're I will, eager. I will, I will guess most of them are already gone, right? You know what? We'll, Pre-order. We'll, we'll pretty much announce it shortly. We just uh, actually went today at 4c.alfaromeo.com for our hand raiser site for those that are interested in... Uh, 
picking up an Alfa Romeo 4C when it is available, um, you know, that's a great place to go. Okay. And if you didn't, if you're not one of the lucky 500 to start out here in the fall, uh, this fall, we'll have the 4C, our standard model, which actually starts at $54,000. And if you think about it, at $54,000, the level of technology, the, how exotic and how uh, unique this car is, there's nothing else like it here um, yeah. in the States. Um, it's, it's always very special. Yeah, it's always horrible to make comparisons, but like we, you have to sometimes at some points. I mean, but really, there's nothing for that price, for that kind of performance at that price point. I mean, like the closest thing might be a Porsche Cayman S, but those are much more expensive. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, while the, the Porsche is a great product, at the, at the end of the day, the Alfa Romeo, uh, you know, does perf high performance in its own way. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is not trying to be anyone but reflecting on the heritage that Alfa Romeo has and definitely the, uh, the motorsport history that the, the brand has. And you can see it's, 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 you know, it's ingrained in the soul of this car. Nothing in this car is not for, you know, it's all the essentials for track day performance um, ultra lightweight you know this car is extremely agile because of the way it's designed okay so um, Alfa Romeo is back uh, with this car for the 4C for now and I understand you're going to tell me much about it but like obviously there are more, more coming later you know the, the great thing about Alfa Romeo is uh, you know it's, it has a great history of other products beyond something you know with Uh, like this, this mid-engine car. Like I said, back in the day, there was a 33 Stradale. It was a very limited series run car. But there's other great cars like uh, that. You know, we're going to soon announce. And in fact, on May 6th, uh, there will be more announcements for future Alpha product that will be arriving in the United States. Um, we are looking to bring maybe some of the, your car fans who who are listening to this. I had noticed in Geneva, Alfa Romeo came out with the Alfa Romeo 4C Spider concept. Yeah. We hope to see that here stateside in 2015. So that's kind of the natural progression right now. The 4C Launch Edition, we'll have a 4C Standard Edition this fall, starting around $54,000, and then we'll talk Spider hopefully next year. Well, excellent start, I mean, obviously, with this car, so congratulations on that. And I can't wait to drive it. So it, when does it come? Uh, when is it going to be on sale? Again, we're looking to have cars here at the end of June. This June, right in time for summer. Okay. Right in time to get out in some of your favorite roads here in uh, the U.S. And, uh, you know, add some more Italian flair out there. Because uh, it's been a long time since uh, a new Alfa Romeo is on the road. And it's going to be exciting when we start seeing them more and more. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for thank your you. time. And we're going to get out of the car because there's a line of people waiting to get in. So, thank, thank you very you. much. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.